and Mercury. Somebody's got to say it. The real conservative truth lives here. This is the final closing we'll time factor. Video commentary thoughts. Final closing time for the video called Joy Thoughts. Me, LH Music, America's level festival Christian conservative is here. And uh, it's gonna be Thursday, April the 19th in the year 2012. And we're almost there for the big season finale next week, as far as we're concerned. Trust me about that. So, you have to be patient about this. Anyways, glad you're with us. And, um, here's a question for you Do you know what the liturgy means? Because I saw this at uh, Creighton University your, your, uh, University uh, magazine for this month. So that means it could be the used deeply love of the liturgy of the Catholic Church. Now I don't, I, I don't care what the people says about lit liturgy. You know what I'm wondering, English music, how can you always say liturgy in the music that uses in the Catholic tradition. Well, guess what? Here's the purpose you don't want to know. You know about this one, and you always, always know this about this one. This is called um, The Power of Liturgy, which I found this. That's right, which I found this from uh, Great University Magazine. It's in the, this month's edition. Could be a spring, spring month edition, that is. And, um, the, because the lyrics, because the music and the liturgy makes sense to you, it could be the power of prayer and all all that. Because in that way, because in this part of liturgy, quote this, there are there are a number of ways of us we us hum, humans to block God's activity to form us, and that's why that breaks the scriptures and musicians that the the. Okay, Function mere performers rather than prayer leaders. Well, guess what? It's ha so that means the enough to uh, get the music going to be disruptive. Well, guess what? Here's the rubber sum that you don't want to know from uh, this one. Um, and uh, it's, it's gonna be a prayerful. Curie, uh, I bet as a um, intro of you know him, Curie, and I want you to see how it sounds like this one, and um, it always makes sense to you, and um, it's gonna be outrageous. So take a look at this; it's gonna be good. I want you to listen to this.
that that's uh, Gabriel's Gabriel Flores Requiem, and it says the lyrics Requiem Eterna Dona Eis, and uh, that's why we we just practicing um, last Sunday all the way up to last Tuesday. Now yesterday, and then tomorrow's gonna be, and tonight's gonna be the final rehearsal, and then a big performance. Which is at the Holland Performing Arts Performing Arts Center. It's gonna be me, LH Music, along with Greg Zelke and the rest of the Omaha Symphonic Chorus, along with UNO Concert Choir, and so is Nebraska Nebraska Wesleyan Wesleyan Choir, and uh, Thomas Wilkins Wilkins, and so is Omaha Symphony. Put things together. It's called Sacred Voices, and it's something to do with the Catholic liturgy in the French era. Now you see what happens in the French era and Requiem Eterna Doma, uh, Donna Eddie's Domine. It's not that bad as far as we can turn. Now whatever happens to, to the liturgy of this one uh, see what this one suits you good by Frank. It's called a. Uh, has to do with Psalm 150. It's another 50th thing because you already know about this one. So I want you to listen to this if it's good. Trust me about that. And um, here it is. And, uh, and uh, this is when I want you to listen. So, who knows anyway? Then comes the traditional era. If I uh, say the song, this will be, be something. Now, Tony Ward wrote this piece for the Roman Catholic Church. And I uh, want you to hear the sounds if I find something interesting. If I do say so myself. So. Sound bites, some sound bites, sound bites, rehearsal tracks. Oh, yes, here it is. And, uh, could be outrageous. So, it could be the liturgy. The song makes sense to you, so. 
makes sense to you and uh, all that stuff so okay. oh you can find it also oh yeah Tony Ward that's a website and uh Um, it always makes sense to you. I want you to hear the sound bite. Uh, I think uh, one more. Try one more. They'll, they'll be outrageous. And um, it's called the Master Body of Christ. And uh, I want you to listen to this. This will may, maybe surprise this you. And uh, and uh, just just listen to this. It will it will grow. Splitting hairs on you. Listen to this. Uh, what you listen to? This? Sounds simple to you? I don't care if you have used the words French or whatever, or Roman Catholic or Latin Mass, whatever. It's. But you have to use you, you focus your mind and your music and all that stuff, and you have to use your text. Look at the the writings of the music and notes and all that stuff. Feel free, sing it, live it. That's why the liturgy comes from the Catholic tradition. Well. Sound simple to you? Hope so. So, enjoy it while we can. Okay. We got one more minute to go, and that is um, tomorrow we're going to have some fun on a Friday. So, trust me about that. And uh, I'm back on the radio and all that stuff, so trust me about that all this weekend. So, I may get into details, but trust me about that. And don't forget, next week is our big season finale week on my Time Factor video commentary thoughts and all that stuff. So, so it's my website. So, as far as we can sort of trust me about that. So, it'll be nice. So, is that, is that okay? Is that okay with you? Good. Hope you do. Anyways, make, make sure you Facebook me and follow me at facebook.com slash lhmusictime and so it's twitter.com slash lhmusictime and check my website. LHMusicTimeFactor.weekly.com for the LH Music Time Factor website. That's why, the, that's why the real conservative truth lives here. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow for an all new Final Closing Time Factor video of Governor Thoughts on a Friday. And we're out the door. LH Music signing off. Go with God's blessings and take care. Bye bye for now. See ya.